Ridge Monkey one man standard. Let's have a look what you get. Size of it, what you can fit in it and all that. So you get four rod holders, two either side. They're magnetic. The door wind down uh, has a mozzie panel behind it if you want to use that. Either side here and over there is a long sort of window, mozzie panel behind that. Um, that whole front comes off if you want to and you put a mozzie on there with the magnetic strip down the middle to burst in and out. That's an extra. This porch where these bars are either side that actually unzips all the way around here somewhere if you don't want that porch on to try and save weight. So that will come off. Comes with a ground sheet. Comes with a flyer sheet as well. Uh, uh, let's have a little look inside. You've got a big back window there. One either side. They can be open from inside or out. This does go up quick. You get four bars to strengthen it. If it's windy, you don't. I don't need them today. Don't need them this week, I don't think. But I put them in because I was having nothing to do. And I had plenty of time. So, yeah. So, you get one for that side. One for the other side. And two for the top. You get little pockets. And like a mesh pocket in. And there's one behind, behind that bucket on the other side as well. Got plenty of room inside. So it's got a bucket and some other rubbish on that side. And it's got a sort of like medium sized hold all that size on that side. Um, that's a standard bed chair. So from inside it, now I'm sitting right on the very edge of the bed chair and stretching so my feet will pop out the end. If I sit normal, you can see there's loads of room. So these little bars coming handy. I've got a little bit of food hanging up there. So it's out of the way of all the creepy coolies and the mice and everything. Over there, little towel and towel thing hanging up. But yeah, plenty of room inside. It's the standard. Round the back. And there's your windows. Obviously, roll up. You get all these bars. Everything all comes with it. Your flyer sheet. That unzips comes off. You don't want to take it. Summer mumps don't need it, so you can strip them right back. Which you probably need to do because I'm going to tell you they're heavy. That's a good size bivy. They don't fold in half as such like a normal bivy when put down, so they're quite long. So you would need a van if you're going to have a Ridge Monkey bivy. You basically need a van. Um, and little jokes as well. You're going to need a crane. Because they are very, very heavy. But they are a really good good bit of kit. It's just, again, I'm saying it. They're just so heavy. If they could find a really light way of doing it. Then, yeah. We'd have no problem with it. So that's it. That's a one-man... Ridge Monkey Standard. If you don't mind the weight, if you fish anywhere near you, near the actual car park, or you can park your car at the swims you go to, then yeah, get it. And when I say car, I mean van. Right, look, there's plenty of room in there. These are in bags underneath a bit more if wanting more space, but don't need it. So, there you go. 
But also, I don't know if you remember from one of my other videos, that's one of those uh, 14 pan sort of eBay tables. As you can see, you get loads of stuff on it. So they last a couple of years, and you just lob it away, get an arm 14 pan. And also, I said in a video about don't use the 12, get the 24. Well, I've made the error and bought the 12, and that bag under there, and I think a bag hanging up over there, I've got food that don't fit in the in the call box. So I made a schoolboy error there and bought the wrong one. Um, went up the shop, got some more food and can't fit it in the call box. But there you go. You live and learn. And like I said, get the 24. And I might stick that right at the back of the shed where I can't find it. Just so that I always remember to bring my 24. But, uh, anyway, right. So Ridge Monkey, one man standard.